Before starting the color grading, we need to know what is log format. It's a video recording format that captures wide dynamic range of brightness values and color information. Log profile gives us more room for color alteration, and this allows for greater flexibility in post-production to adjust the image's brightness, contrast, and color grading without losing information and details. So log is sort of middle ground between RAW and REC 709. Log uses a logarithmic curve rather than linear curve in the way to record the highlights and shadows. Log curve pull the highlight down to avoid overexposure, and push the low lights up to bring out more detail, and it looks very grayish low contrast. And every camera manufacturer has a different log profile. So it doesn't matter which camera you are using, always try to record your clip in the log format, so it will give you more flexibility to color grade your videos in post-production. First import your clips into your editing application. In my case I'm using Premiere Pro. First make a new adjustment layer. Drag and drop the adjustment layer above on your clip. Adjust the duration of the layer with your clip. Select this adjustment layer. Then move over to the window menu. Open the Lumetri Color and Lumetri Scopes. Inside the Lumetri Color panel, open the Creative tab. Select None to browse. In my case, it was recorded with a Sony camera and S-Log3 Cine format. So I'm going to use this LUT S-Log3 to Rec 709. You can free download these LUT presets pack under the description. Inside this pack, you'll get log to Rec 709 LUT presets for six different cameras. For example, Arri Alexa, Canon, DJI, Panasonic, RED, and Sony as well. To adjust the white balance, open the basic correction. Then select the color picker tool, and click on any white area inside your clip. So this will automatically adjust the white balance for your clip. But for my clip it didn't work well, so I have to adjust it manually. As we can see that this clip looks a little reddish. So let's reduce the temperature a little to make it cool. And when you adjust the white balance, always keep the RGB parade open, inside the Lumetri scope tab. And always try to make level the RGB graph. So when it goes to level, that means your footage is now perfectly white balanced. Let's increase the saturation a little bit. I always use curve tool to adjust the contrast and brightness. And it doesn't matter which editing application you are using. If you can learn this tool properly, you can give any look to your footage by using this curve tool. I've already made a detailed video about the curves tool and how it works on your footage. You can check out this video under the description link. So open the curves tool and make three points on the shadow, mid-tone and highlight. Let's turn down the shadow. And you can turn down the shadow until this RGB graph reaches 26 to 0. Then you can increase the highlight until it reaches 230 to 255. And it was the before and after. You must have noticed in films, the shadow and darker area is never crushed black. There's a certain faded and grayish look in the shadow area. To achieve this look in your footage, just increase the black point a little bit to add a faded look. Then pull down the white point to make the highlight soften. Orange and teal is a popular cinematic color grading technique used in many films and television shows. It involves enhancing the contrast between warm orange tones and cool teal tones, creating a visually striking and balanced color palette. The technique takes advantage of the complementary colors on the color wheel, where orange and teal are opposite each other. But it's not necessary to add the orange and teal look. We have 20 cinema LUT presets, and 20 popular film look presets for your next project. You can check out these LUT presets pack under the description link. And these presets will work with all editing applications that support cube.extension format. And these presets are pretty easy to use. Inside the pack I included the video tutorial as well. To achieve the orange and teal look, click on the red circle inside the curve tool. Then remove the red color from the black and shadow area. So this will give you a teal look to the shadows and black areas. And we don't want to change the mid-tone, because mid-tone will work for the skin color, so let's keep it center. Now increase the highlight a little bit, so this will give you a warm tone to the highlighted area. Next move over to the blue circle, then pull down the blue color from the highlighted area to add a yellow tone. For my clip, I don't need too much orange and teal look, but you can play with these curve lines to achieve any look on your footage. Masking allows you to target specific areas that require correction or enhancement while leaving other areas unaffected, and you can achieve the desired look. For example, I want to reduce the shadow for this specific part of my footage and I have to make a custom mask around this specific part. So again add an adjustment layer to the timeline. Then select this adjustment layer, 
and move over to the effect controls tab. Under the opacity effect, we can create mask by using these three tools. For my clip I can create a mask by using this four point polygon tool. Then adjust the mask on the specific area of your footage. Increase the mask feather. Now move over to the lumetry color and open the curves tool. Here I just want to reduce the shadow and mid-tone. Next I'm gonna add another mask on the sky. So let's duplicate the adjustment layer. Select this layer, then under the effect controls tab, select the mask one. Now I just need to move this mask to the sky. Then reset the lumetry color effect. Here I wanted to reduce the mid-tone and highlight, so we can see more details on the sky. Move over to the red circle. Increase the highlight and reduce the mid-tone, to add orange and teal look. Now move to the blue circle, and reduce color from the highlight area. So this will add more warm color. Lastly we are going to add one more mask, to pop up our subject. Again I'm going to duplicate the adjustment layer. Now let's delete this mask. Then reset the lumetry color effect. Here I can create an ellipse mask for my subject. Let's increase the mask feather. Here I want to reduce the mid-tone and shadow. As we can see it's affecting our subject. But I want to apply this effect to the background. So we have to invert the mask. Now let's reduce the mid-tone and shadow. And it was our before and after. And the last one is called the halation and glow effect. So again add one more adjustment layer. Then move over to the effects tab. Search for the Gaussian Blur effect, apply this effect on the top adjustment layer. Under the Effect Controls tab, change the Blend Mode, from Normal to Lighten or Screen. Now increase the blurriness to as much glow as you need. For my clip I would like to keep it 20. Then move over to the Lumetri Color panel. Under the Basic Correction, lower the exposure until you are satisfied with the glow effect. So that's all for the cinematic color grading, to get more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell button to notify the next one, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me on Instagram, I'll try to reply all dedicated questions. See you in the next one, have a nice day.